um, my uh, other longboard. Tell me this is my fucking iPad because my phone camera's garbage. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? You see the iPad filmer. Ah! <laughs> Boomer ass. <laughs> <laughs> Picture. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. This is the uh, bike I've been I showcased like a month ago. Total piece of shit video. So I figured I'd make a little bit of a better one, just showing you what I got going on. So this is a 1978 Kawasaki KB75 that has been lightfully and tastefully modified to run a Honda Clone TY6, which is a 50cc engine um, with a torque converter. Um, everything on this bike has been recycled from pretty much junkyard, just shit. The pegs are from some like Honda ATC3 wheeler. These are actually handlebars. Um, the uh, Headlight is from some shitty old Italian moped. The seat is from a Honda Z50. This side cover is from some like Yamaha Enduro bike I found at the junkyard. Um, the tail light I bought at AutoZone for $3 and it already burnt out after like 10 minutes of ride time, so would not recommend. Um, the gas tank is the one that came with the bike, but it was a rusty pile of garbage, so I welded some scrap steel on it to try to get it to work. Um, and it's pissing gas everywhere, so that's to be expected. Um, handlebar controls are from some Chinese moped, or some Chinese scooter, which is the same spot I got this engine from. Um, but yeah, I've done some graphics on it because I thought it looked cool. Uh, the carb is the most bizarre setup I've ever seen, but I got it to work. But yeah, this thing makes like 12 horsepower. It'll uh, it'll get you going fast enough. It's it's pretty terrifying. <laughs> um, I'm gonna cut these foot pegs down because they're just tied on right now. So I'm gonna cut those down and move them down about two inches. Um, cause otherwise your knees hit the handlebars and it's pretty uncomfortable to ride. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so basically none of the bike's factory wiring is intact. Um, when it, when I picked up the frame, I'll, uh, I'll put a picture in the video too. Um, it's basically just a front wheel, a rusted tank. That's pretty much it. So I had to make the harness completely from scratch. And, uh, honestly putting a harness together is a lot harder than it looks because you gotta like maintain where everything goes and make sure that like if you get to take part off that the wiring isn't holding it on and making sure that the whole bike's actually disassemblable. Yeah. Um, so a lot of, none of it's fused, obviously, because that takes way too fucking long. The wiring from this engine, the only thing I really kept was the Hall effect sensor and the stator, everything else I put together. So it's got a, a CDI box from some crappy like 50cc quad. Um, the starter solenoid is actually from the moped or from the scooter. Um, this coil is just some piece of junk I found at the junkyard, obviously. So, um, but yeah, all the wire, like all the wiring from the headlights that work when I want to, to the ignition and all that is pretty much done by me. And I have this like awful, huge, just clump of grounds bolted right here. Um, but it does have a working charging system, which is kind of insane for me at least. <laughs> And um, the battery's dead, so every time I want to start it, I have to jump it. So I should probably pick up a new battery sometime soon because I'm getting pretty tired of it. Um, and I think that's all for the wire. There's no turn signals. There's no horn. Um, I mean, let's get real. If I get pulled over in this thing, it's probably not for turn signals.
Uh, so yeah, that's the wiring. <laughs>